Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this graph. I'm going to use this color group. Let's open a new document, set the stroke to none and leave the fill as it is. Next, select the rectangle tool and draw a long and narrow rectangle. Now switch to the Add Anchor Point tool. Be sure your smart guides are turned on and then click on this intersection to add an extra anchor point. Now press the right arrow key on your keyboard a few times. Let's create a copy and repeat this step two more times. Select everything, group it together, be sure the line to artboard is selected and choose Vertical Align Center. Now right click and choose Ungroup. Select the top shape and change its color. And repeat this with the other shapes. Next swap the fill and the stroke. Bring the stroke to the front. Switch to the Pen tool and draw a straight vertical line. Let's create a copy. Next select both lines and create a copy again. Select everything and then go to Pathfinder and choose Divide. Press the Ctrl, Shift and G keys on your keyboard to ungroup everything. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and select only the center anchor points. Now press the letter E on your keyboard to switch to the free transform tool. Click on the top edge of this bounding box, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Alt key as well to create this perspective effect. Switch to the type tool and type number one. Let's change the color to white. Switch to the Selection tool and scale it up. Let's align it vertically to the center of this shape. First select the number one digit. Now select this shape. Click on this shape again to mark it as a key object and then align it vertically to the center. Next create a copy and then press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard two more times to repeat the last step. Select this number and change it to 2. This one to 3. And the last one to 4. Now use the Selection tool and align each number vertically to the center. Like we did before, select the shape and the number Click on the shape again to mark it as a key object and choose a vertical align center. Now repeat this with the other two numbers. Let's select everything and group it together. Next we'll add shadows and highlights. Switch to the rectangle tool and change the fill to white and black gradient. Now draw a long and narrow rectangle. Click on the Align button at the top and choose a Vertical Align Center. Next open the gradient panel and let's make some changes. Click on the white color tab and change it to black. Click on this black color tab and change its opacity to zero. Let's change the type to radial. Now press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and let's move it to the left. Select this point and bring it all the way to this edge. Now select the top point and drag it up to about here. Let's adjust the middle color tab. Next open the transparency window, change the blending mode to multiply and lower the opacity. 
let's create a copy of this shadow and paste it here. Another copy here and one more copy here. Let's rotate this one by 180 degrees. Next we'll create highlights. Let's copy this shape over here and rotate it by 180 degrees. Now open the gradient window, change this color stop to white and this one to white as well. Open the transparency window and change the blending mode to overlay. Now align this highlight with this edge and create a few more copies. One here, next one here and one more here. Let's rotate this one by 180 degrees. Now create one more copy, rotate it again and move it here. Let's select all numbers and move them to the right just a little bit. Finally we will add this sphere. Switch to the ellipse tool, change the fill to this color and draw a circle. Let's create a copy and bring it down. Select the top shape and then go to the mesh tool. Click here and down below to create a few mesh lines. Switch to the direct selection tool and select this anchor point. Now apply a lighter shade of blue. And do the same with this anchor point. Select the bottom circle Switch to the eyedropper tool and apply the same gradient that we used for the shadow. Open the gradient panel and adjust the color stops position and the opacity. Select this circle and bring it below the mesh object. Now place it over here. If necessary, adjust the gradient even more. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.